That's illegal around these parts. Says so. The government. Well, shit. A Sorrel Booker. Ah! <laughs> I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Mm. Mm. You boys know who you just brought in? This son bitch right here used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Kids these days don't know their goddamn history. Say, you got a needle in three. Sorry, we don't do a lot of knitting around here. It's called sewing. I think I got some in my bag. Would you mind? I come on now. Uh, Sorrel, we old friends, ain't we? Look at you. 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Maybe you just like the feeling of that good old California sunshine on your wrinkly ass face. Or maybe you're still looking for her. Well, Sorrel, I can confidently cross one reason off that list for you. I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. Mind your fucking mouth. That's the president of the government you're talking to. You a president now. Don't say why not. Well, then you might want to hire a publicist. Cause this is the first I'm hearing about this outfit. Now, what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman. Name of Moldavia. They call her the Flame Mother. Now that bitch is dangerous. Well, when it comes to leadership these days, dangerous is what they call a prerequisite. Somebody's got to step up and bring some order around here. You know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. Yep. Mm. Now I've always liked you. Well, I've always liked you. Well, ain't that sweet? But that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. So if I wanted to let you go scot free, folks might lose faith about what we're trying to do here. And then what? Anarchy in the streets. Exactly. Now, you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Just like that. Just like that. Now, if you need any more evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Philly, oh, I must have killed nine or ten people. My daddy lives in Philly. Well, not no more, he don't. Unless he's a coward. Don't take the bait, son. Well, I ain't fishing. I'm just trying to game this out now. In my experience, the apple tends not to fall too far from the tree. Is that true in your case? My daddy ain't no coward. Well, then I guess the only question is, are you? Sheriff Rex. Take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Very presidential of you. Take them out back and feed them to the hogs. Mm -hmm. 